got some of those on the bed is in there. I can't even pull that out. So I'll need two hands. But it's pretty much a messy yard out here. Look at the impression that it's left. Here's a pine tree that we're going to be using the Blue Max on. Now this fell during a uh, storm. I didn't think it was nearly as long as it really is. I just uh, measured this. And the tree on the ground here, from right here where it broke off, just from right here where it broke off, to the other end, 88 foot. Okay, so uh, oh, it goes all the way. It goes down there, 88 feet. And that's not even counting this, which don't really have to cut, probably will. So that means this tree was, you know, that's over 10 foot, so that's probably like 15 foot. So, uh, you know, way, that's beyond a uh, 100 foot tree, 100 foot pine tree. That's incredible length. So uh, I'm going to be trying out the Blue Max and uh, seeing how it does on this. I think it's a good uh, a good start here. I mean, if the if that's all we get out of the Blue Max, that would be worth the price of it. So uh, it's going to get started. So here's a look at the circumference. It's like 63 inches around. And that's probably 20 foot of the tree right here. So you can see it's about 15 where it broke off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it gets smaller as it goes down. And a little bit, a little bit bigger down there where we'll be cutting. But, uh, yeah, right at, right here, it's about 63. All right, so I'm gonna try to start Blue Max for the first time here. And I'm just following my instructions uh, best of my ability. So if you have one of these, um, that's what you should do as well. Just go to your instruction manual. But uh, my understanding is make sure this chain guard is locked. That's uh, meaning it's in the out position. Uh, that's going to lock the bar or the chain from moving while we start it. Uh, to begin starting, I'm going to pull this uh, out. That's the choke lever that's going to uh, close the choke. There's a little toggle switch over here that is the kill switch. I'm going to lift that up uh, to start it. I'm just going to pull the cord here about six times or until I hear the engine pop uh, wanting to start. When I hear that, then I'm going to push it in the open position and continue pulling the cord until it starts. So let's go ahead and put it in the uh, closed position there. I'll be putting my hand, left hand here, uh, foot here. Gonna give it about, well, until we hear that pop. That was it right there. Let's go ahead and push it in. That was. I'm going to let that idle for about 30 seconds.
Okay, so we're taking a little break here. Um, I refueled. I'm letting it cool down before I start again. Um, and uh, chain is still... It's a little looser, but uh, it's still around the four millimeter range, so I'm gonna leave it for now. Uh, check the oil, added a little bit of oil. So what we have here is made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cuts in this tree. And you can see this laying on the ground, so it's a little hard to cut when I get close to the ground. Uh, most of these I wasn't able to go all the way through, so I'm going to revisit those. Um, you know, I'm not an experienced uh, user here, so uh, that'll explain some of this. But uh, seems like the bar is so long that it's kind of hard for me to keep this straight. So when I get down to like right here, it starts pinching the bar. So you know, you know that's again lack of, of experience. Um, you know, and, and the bar just being so long is kind of hard to, to keep an exact straight fit or cut. I'm sorry. Um, and like I said, it kind of it pinches the blade, so I'll have to revisit that. So still sharp, uh, and I want to go ahead and cut on up here. Uh, my intention is to cut about every five, six feet here and come back and cut in the middle of these so that I can roll these away somewhere over here and then uh, dispose of them later or burn them from time to time. But as you can see, I still have a lot of cutting to do so far. So good just need to uh, get a little bit better at cutting here uh, you know and um, we'll see how we cut these through later on Okay, I'm going to have to um, tighten the chain on the bar there just a little bit. I've made uh, 18 cuts through the tree. And it's getting a little loose. You see it's dragging on the bottom there. So I'm going to uh, loosen the screws here on the cover. With the tensioner screw here, I'll tighten that until the bottom is flush and then I'll concentrate on the top getting at about two to four millimeters again. Okay so with the uh, tensioner screw here just uh, tightening it or moving it clockwise. You can see the bottom is well not quite flush yet. So the top, I think the top looks pretty good. So go ahead and uh, retighten the cover nuts here. We should be ready to start cutting again.
so we've made uh, 21 cuts here and we've just about get everything we need down about halfway here some of these bigger ones here I'm gonna want to probably cut uh, one more time in the middle but uh, all of these are cut all the way through some of these still need to be cut all the way through because what was happening is that they were so big they were so close to the ground that it was uh, pinching the uh, chain bar when I get close to the ground for example this one's not all the way through so what uh, we're doing here is just uh, just using leverage here with some broken branches and just opening that gap up and going through that as you can see that the opening is a lot wider allowing the bar to go through easier um, once we get this one cut here through we'll do the same thing to open up that side over there and then continue to do that I think after we get them all the way cut all the way through then we may come back and try to cut through the middle of some of these bigger ones so they'll be easy to move out of the way so I'm having to sharpen the blade now and here's the file that they uh, provided so at a 30 degree angle just making uh, some strokes here about four let's go up to the next one so I've had a little delay um, after sharpening the blade I tried to cut with it um, just wasn't cutting like I liked and I could see that it, it was going to take a long time to cut through um, a lot of those sections so I decided to go ahead and order a new blade and uh, here's the blue max blade I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna to try to get back to cutting here and hopefully we can finish this up today
this one. We cut up to here, and this is really where we wanted to stop at. Uh, this is out of the way of where we mow at, as we we cut down there and up through here. So that's fine. We're going to leave that at least for now. Uh, this area here is all just a wood line here that uh, you know we don't really use this for anything. We don't cut this at all. As far as the rest of the trunk here. Uh, I'm going to leave that as well. It's really not uh, dangerous. If it gets to where I think uh, it is, I will cut that later. For now, I will leave this because if I do start cutting that, um, I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to fill in more of this with the sections of it that I cut. But uh, shouldn't be any problem at all leaving it right where it's at. So let's go over here and see the rest of the tree. We tried to use as much space as possible, or as small a, of a space as possible for all these sections here. Now, these are uh, the branches, some of the branches, some of the limbs here. The rest of these are uh, the trunk. And I counted like 35 or 36 of these. So you have like, this would be like the very top of the tree right here. And then some of these would be the, uh, you know, the base of the trunk there. But uh, these were cut with the Blue Max. I used two blades. The first blade I got like 21 cuts. I uh, ordered another blade. wasn't able to sharpen it. It wasn't cutting after I tried to sharpen. It wasn't cutting very well. So second blade cut the rest, and it's still pretty sharp right now. So. Uh, yeah, I would not be I would not be able to do this without um, a big saw, and uh, I think a 22 was really what I needed. So the Blue Max ran great, cut very good, um, started up when I needed it to start up. I turned it off a lot to prepare for you know some of these cuts, and it started right up. So uh, couldn't be more pleased really with it. And I'm going to go ahead and empty out the uh, the gas in this because I don't really think I'm going to be using it again this season. But uh, yeah, that'll be it, I guess. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, Blue Max, first time ever using this. Really not that experienced at using a chainsaw, but uh, you know, worked out great here. So. Uh,
yeah thanks and have a great day until next time take care